Dolores is an icon. She's not afraid to speak truth to power. Dolores Huerta, who is an old friend of mine. Dolores Huerta. After I had seen the miserable conditions of farm workers, Cesar Chavez said, we have to organize a union. So the activist joined U.S. labor leader Cesar Chavez to organize the National Farm Workers Association in California. We had benefits. We had a life insurance plan. We had an office. We started a credit union, the first farm worker credit union in the history of the United States of America, where people could get loans. We had a cooperative store. We did services. We did immigration work. We did their income taxes. We had like a five-year plan to have a national strike in the Central Valley because we wanted all of the growers to negotiate together. It was beyond question the largest gathering on behalf of farm workers in California history. I wish they'd all go back to where they came from. We have no labor troubles. Huerta also helped change voter registration in California, leading to a larger voter turnout in the state. One of the major uh, bills that we passed uh, was uh, that you could register voters door to door in California. Before that, uh, you had to go down to the courthouse, we, you know, from Monday to Friday, nine to five to register to vote. And of course, working people uh, couldn't do that because they were working at those particular hours. I believe a lot of the issues that we have in the United States right now, because people do not know the contributions of people of color, that indigenous Native Americans were the first slaves, that African slaves built the White House and the Congress, that it was the people from Mexico and the people from Asia that built the infrastructure of our country. And labor unions are the ones that really, you know, we have the eight hour day, we have the weekends, we have safety standards, we have unemployment insurance, disability insurance, we have public education, we have social security. All of this was fought for by people in labor unions. Stories like Dolores's uh, oftentimes get marginalized, and, and even Dolores is kind of painted as a foreigner, you know. Uh, Dolores is, she's as, as American as apple pie or chips and salsa, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and her story is an American story, and, and it should be told. Yes, we can. We were organizing in Arizona, and when I met with some of the professional Latinos, they told me in Spanish, no, uh, yeah, in, 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 over there in California, you can do all of that. In Arizona, no se puede. And my response was to them was, si se puede, si se puede. Si se puede, si se puede. Go with violence! Abajo! Go with racism!